So Einstein's riddle goes like this. There are five houses lined up next to each other. Each house is a different color. Each house is inhabited by a different individual, each of a different nationality. Each drinks a different beverage, smokes a different cigarette, and cares for a different pet. And our goal is to figure out who owns the fish, given these 15 hints. So there's an even tougher version of Einstein's riddle, known as the zebra puzzle, where clue number four has the greenhouse on the right instead of the left, and clue number 15 is not given. If you were looking for the solution to that puzzle, I'll leave a link in the description to one of my other videos that goes over that puzzle instead. But for now, given these 15 hints, let's figure out who owns the fish. So we have our 15 clues, our five houses lined up, and a grid box to fill in the house color, nationality, drink, smoke, and pet as we figure them out. So we'll start off with the clues we can simply fill in first. Clue number eight, the man living in the center house drinks milk. So we look at the house in the center column, go to the row for drinks, and then go to the corresponding box for that column and that row, and fill in milk. Now clue number nine, the Norwegian lives in the first house. So we go to the column with the first house, go to the row of nationality, and add in the Norwegian flag. Now clue 14, the Norwegian lives next to the blue house. The Norwegian lives here in the first house, and there is no neighbor to the left of him, and there is only one to the right of him. Since this is his only neighbor that lives next to him, this must be the blue house. Clue number four, the green house is on the left of the white house. From this, let's try to figure out which house is the greenhouse now. The greenhouse is not house number one, since that is to the left of the blue house. And it can't be house number two, since that house is obviously blue, not green. And it can't be the fifth house, the last house, because that house is on the end and not to the left of any other house, since there is no house to the right of it. This leaves the culprits for the greenhouse as houses three and houses four so far. Now what other clue here do we have to help us narrow down which is the greenhouse? That would be clue number five. The greenhouse's owner drinks coffee. Therefore, the third house cannot be the greenhouse since the owner of that house drinks milk. That leaves house number four and we know therefore that house is the greenhouse. Also we add coffee since we know the owner of the greenhouse drinks coffee. And as per rule number four, we now know that the last house is the White House, since the greenhouse is to the left of the White House. Now moving right along to clue number one, the Brit lives in the Red House. This leaves houses one and houses three as the possible houses for the Red House. And we see that it can't be house number one, since the Norwegian lives in there. Therefore, it's house number three that is the Red House, and we throw the Brit in there as well. Now that we know the colors of four of the houses, by process of elimination, we now know that the first house is the yellow house. Now let's look for a clue involving the yellow house. Clue number seven, the owner of the yellow house smokes Dunhills. So we'll throw Dunhill cigarettes in the yellow house. Now we see clue number 11 has Dunhills in it. The man who keeps horses lives next to the man who smokes Dunhills. The first house, the Dunhills house, only has one neighbor next to it, the blue house, so we know the horses go in the blue house. So this next part is probably the trickiest of this whole puzzle. Three, the Dane drinks tea. So we have to look at the two rows that involve nation and drinks. This is so we can fit in Dane and tea. And which columns within these two rows are the only ones that are able to be occupied by both Danish and T? That is columns 2 and columns 5, since all the other columns either have a nation, a beverage, or both in them. So we know T can go in house 2 or house 5, and we'll put this to the side to use for later. Clue number 12, the owner who smokes Blue Master drinks beer. And this will be similar to our last clue that we just did. So we look for the rows with both drinks and smokes, and we see which of the columns in these rows can accommodate Blue Masters and beer together. And that is column two and column five, since the other columns already have cigarettes and drinks in them. So now we know that beer can go in house two 
or House 5, and we'll also throw this up to use for later. Now, let's see where water can go. That's House 1, 2, or 5. And now we'll combine all three of these together to figure out which house either water, tea, or beer goes into. So let's assume water goes in house 5. Then tea cannot go in house 5 since water is already in house 5 and therefore tea goes in house 2. And if tea is in house 2, then beer cannot be in house 2 and therefore beer is in house 5. But we've already assumed that water is in house 5. And since no two beverages can be in the same house, we have a contradiction. Therefore, we may reject the assumption that led to the contradiction. And we know that water is now not in house 5. And now we'll assume water in house 2. And we see that we come to once again a contradiction, because beer and water cannot both be in house 2. Therefore, we may reject the assumption that led to the contradiction. We now know that water is not in house 2. Now, since water may only be in house 1, 2, or 5, and we know it's not in 2 or 5, that only leaves water to be in house 1. We now know that water is in house 1. Before we move on, I'll just say that this method of rejecting the assumption if it leads to a contradiction can work in any sort of argument. So if someone ever makes a claim and you can show how that leads to a contradiction, you can reject what they've put forth. This will make you a hit at your next family dinner. Trust me. <laughs> All right, so moving right along. Now that we found water, let's look for a clue with water in it. That's clue number 15. The man who smokes blends has a neighbor who drinks water. This also means that the man who drinks water has a neighbor who smokes blends. And since the man who drinks water is in the first house, his only neighbor is to the right of him in the blue house, and now we know that blends goes in the blue house. Now going back to clue number 12, the owner who smokes Blue Master drinks beer, looking at the rows for both drinks and smokes, now we see that the only column that may accommodate both of them is the one for house 5. So Blue Masters and beer goes in house 5. Now that we've figured out where four of these drinks go, by process of elimination, we can deduce where the fifth drink goes. Tea goes in the second house, the blue house. Clue number three, the Dane drinks tea. So we'll put the Dane in the house with tea. Number 13, the German smokes Prince. Well, the German can only go in house four or house five, since the first three houses are already assigned a nationality. Also, only the Prince cigarettes can go in house four, since that's the only one available with a position for cigarettes. Therefore, we'll put the Prince in the greenhouse and the German along with him. And once again, by process of elimination in regard to the nationalities, we can put the Swede in the fifth house. And what do we know about the Swede? Clue number two, the Swede keeps dogs as pets. So we'll throw the dogs in the house that belongs to the Swede, the fifth house. Moving right along, clue number six, the person who smokes Paul Mall rears birds. Well, the middle house is the only one that can accommodate a cigarette, Paul Malls. So we'll throw Paul Malls in there and put the birds along with it. And finally, clue number 10, the man who smokes blends lives next to the one who keeps cats. So the second house is the one with blends. The neighbor to the right already has birds, so it can't be that neighbor who has the cats. So it's the neighbor to the left, the first house. And that is the house where the cats live. So what's in this last box right here? The fish. The German, who lives in a greenhouse, drinks coffee, and smokes prints, owns the fish. Also, if you want to know what happens to something when it falls into a black hole, check out my video, Black Hole Solved. All right, peace out.